What's up StarCraft fans, they were once again doing Nexus Coop, brought to you by Shadow Archon, who is supporting me in the Pulse Cannon tier. Once again, if you want to play Nexus Coop, go to Custom in-game, go to Arcade, then enter Nexus Coop, then go to this one, uh, the one with the yellow icon, and then once you hit the lobby, just hit Start Game, and it will take you to the screen. Again, we have here information, you can click on this and read all about Nexus Coop and the guys who made it possible, these amazing people who, honestly, they just created a whole game. They just made co-op into their own thing. So anyway, uh, this week, Shadow Archon requested that I do Artanis. I've played a few games of him and I've, I learned that he's a really incredibly easy commander to use. And uh, also, that the real commander is not Artanis, but Karax. So, uh, I have two games to show you guys. If, uh, in the first game, I, I had put all my mastery points in Avenger Duration, because I learned that the Avenger guy is really, really good. He's incredibly strong. I'll show you later what he looks like. And then, uh, the second one, I used Improved Protoss Heroes Usability. I don't think they're Protoss Hero's Revival cost is good because I don't plan to lose them that much. So if I lose them, I'll just, play, I'll just pay for them. It's not that much. And finally, I will have, oh, for the first game at least, I will have Chrono Boost Efficiency. I know Spear of Dune uh, unlocks uh, or allows you to use top bars, but in this case, in the first game, I found that uh, the upgrades on your heroes uh, are the bottleneck of your power level. So I actually put everything on Kernel Boost and try to uh, rush out the upgrades as fast as I can. Anyway, first map will be Void Launch. Let's head in over there. All right, so you can see here, we start with a Nexus like any good old Protoss commander, but we also have this structure called a beacon. It's a structure, I know, and you can build on top of it somehow. But uh, you can see that we start actually with 25 supply. I think that's because the heroes cost 12 supply each or something, something stupid like that. But anyway, uh, we start out, we start it the same. We start with a pylon over here. Yeah, that's a pylon. It, it kind of looks different. It looks cool. But yeah, while waiting for the pylon to finish, we use our in our resources to yeah start these gases. So I resume worker production once the pylon's done. But you actually have enough time. To start your gases and the gases will come important because the upgrades cost a lot of gas so once this one completes i send in my workers there right away while still saturating and then once this other assimilator completes it, it, it's called a nexus assimilator okay that's funky everything's called nexus that's funny nexus pylon it's just the nexus nexus <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nexus Forge. Okay, uh, I start with a Nexus Forge. You can see how much I've played this commander. I'm only finding out the names of the of the buildings. Nexus Forge. So I opted to go for Forge first because the Forge is actually what you use to upgrade your heroes. Artanis built automatically, much like Tychus. You don't need to spend anything to buy Tychus. But these other heroes, you can see we have Phoenix, Alarak, Vorazun, Karax, and Rohana. And you can get them in any order that you want. There's no text structure required. You can get them in any order. But uh, you need to get them one at a time. But our tennis comes for free, so that's nice. So I'm sending workers here to the uh, expansion to try and get that quickly. I actually use Orbital Strike. So Orbital Strike for our tennis in Nexus Coop works a little differently. Let's see if you can spot it. Yeah, it's just a singular top bar that costs 50 energy. And it drops a mini solo bombardment on top of these uh, these targets, and they're not targeted, so sometimes they miss. But it does a lot of damage, and it allows my workers to more quickly break the rocks. Here comes Artanis. You can see he does still have that lightning dash and that astral wind. I try to bait these enemies first to clump up a little bit before I use the dash to stun them all. And while that's happening, my workers are still busting down the rocks and I'm also getting this upgrade, which will allow m my spear to get extra abilities when I use my hero's abilities. So I use Astral Wind to heal Artanis. Pretty good. Rocks are down and next is starting. 
Okay, four minutes. Four minutes uh, have gone by, and that allows me to build the next hero, which I've chosen Karax, and you will see why later on. He's pretty jacked. Once that completes, I get this next upgrade from the Nexus Forge, which I think uh, increases the damage of the heroes. So he'll be even more effective. There we go, Karax is available. And out comes, in my opinion, the best hero of this commander. Not Artanis, but Karax. He's so good. Next is almost done. We will fight this next wave. It's just Zealoth and Stalkers. I drop Orbital Strike there and I bait these guys. Yeah, I bait these guys in these Orbital Strikes to get more damage in. Pretty good. Alright, Cax has made it to the party. And now... Uh, we'll show you what he's got. He's got that power field, same as in the campaign. He has Reclamation, and he has Project Cannons. Of course, first thing I do is steal the Colossus. And then the Archon, and then drop two cannons. While that's happening, I get Karax's... Actually, I'm already on Karax's second upgrade, the shield thing. Yeah, I'm stealing more dudes. So, each of these each of these heroes has five group upgrades that you can buy. And uh, you can only buy one upgrade after a pre the previous upgrade has been purchased. So you can see, I'm just getting I'm just rushing them all in order and just current boosting it out. So I can get Karax to a powerful level right away. And also, every minute that passes, you can summon a new hero, which I'm neglecting to do actually, but as uh, I'll show you later on, it's not really that, uh, that necessary. As long as I'm powering up Karax, I'm good. So you can see I'm already pushing into here with Artanis, and Karax is dropping, you can see I already have two stolen Colossus, one stolen Void Rate, and one stolen Archon, and one stolen Immortal. Meanwhile, Karax is still dropping cannons over here. He's really strong. Seven minutes in the game, I already have this army. It's actually crazy how much I have. I'm warping in two more Nexus Forge because, again, all of the heroes upgrades come from the Nexus Forge. So I have to buy this one next. I'm already, I'm already done Karax's fourth upgrade. Alarak is ready to tear his foes apart with his own hands. Okay, that's not true. Uh, Alarak doesn't use his own hands. He actually uses Destruction Wave to blow his enemies away. And drop down more cannons to easily de delete these. And you can see all oh, this this whole army it comes from just Karax. He's so good. You can see I'm getting the next upgrade for Karax. He just yeah. Just I just got oh, oh by the way, this is the one is the Revenger. The, the, that is the uh, the Avenger that I uh, that I was talking about and it's it's actually really strong but for the meantime I'm I'm just focused on yeah the the Revenger is really strong but not as strong as Karax look he's he dropped like 10 cannons he has 10 cannons in this spot and he's just stealing Archons Colossus Carrier and he's still he's still cleaning house look at that 12 cannons 12 cannons once you have once you have Karax upgraded and they build instantly, and they they draw aggro, and yeah, it's like Zeratul. He, he plays like Zeratul, except the cooldown is much faster, so you can actually spawn more of these cannons. I just stole this phoenix casually, stole the other phoenix, and then stole a third phoenix. I've stolen so many phoenixes. Yeah, I don't I don't need to steal them, but. I, 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 it's fun. <laughs> Just keep taking aim on stuff. Delete those things. Vorzu's out, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it, it almost doesn't matter which heroes I have, as long as I have Karax. Look! Just drop six cannons here. Steal some Colossus. Delete those things. Here, are, here, here come the other heroes. Karax is gonna intercept the shuttles. Drop cannons here. Make these guys not a thing. Steal that phoenix. Because why not? Steal that steal that scout. Just keep shooting down these uh, uh, these uh, shuttles. Meanwhile, the carrier and Rohana are working on these uh, uh, this whole base. Just drop more cannons. My goodness. Look at how fast he, his cannon charts regenerate. 
Look at this. He has two already. Three already. And if he has another one ready. I drop another Orbalist right here. To make that area not a thing. I casually... Uh, well, I almost did. I almost did. I was thinking about it. But I decided to wait for Karax. Because Karax is the real Chad. Of this commander. I, I mean, I may be wrong. Maybe I... Maybe I Maybe uh, the other guys like Alarak or Rohana or Vorzen are also really good, but I found that Karax is uh, the one I've ha I have the most success with. Because look at this. Phoenix, by the way, is also a hero available for Artanis, but man, look at this. Look at this guy. He's just cleaning. He's just dropping. He just, yeah, he just cannon rushed Amon. And it's not like your 1v1 cannon rush where you have to build a pylon, wait for the cannons, hope the enemy doesn't spot it, but no. This version of the cannon rush is actually a rush because you just spam all these things and they're already hitting the shuttles before they can even do anything. Look at that. I'm not even getting upgrades, by the way. I can get upgrades, uh, the regular uh, attack and armor upgrades, but I need a, a Nexus Forge for it, or a Nexus uh, Cybernice Core for it. And why would I get that if I need all my gas for these upgrades, for these hero specific upgrades? I'm still getting upgrades, by the way. Yeah, this one, this one I believe is Artanis' last upgrade. He's he's really jacked, but not as jacked as Kara. Look, look at him go! My good, he's just he's just cleaning his whole base. I have all these abilities. This first ability is for Art Artanis. The second ability is for Phoenix. The third one is for Alarak. The fourth one is for Vorzu. The fifth one is for Rohana. But it doesn't matter. Because Karak is the real dude. Look at that. Two Colossus, a carrier, and a lot of cannons. So many cannons. He's just cleaning. He's just cleaning house. I will use the Avenger guy, the top bar, for this whole thing. And yeah, it look, it, it does, uh, it's basically a giant Zalot with a giant stick, which cleans house pretty effectively, but, you know, the, the real star of the show is Karax. Look at this. Six cannons, just dropped there, and then stole the carrier, and then two Colossus, and then Immortal, another carrier, working on this whole base, another Immortal, stolen. 10 can just 10, 10, 10, 10 cannons. <laughs> My goodness. Now, all the other heroes are just cleaning the side objectives, but the Karax is just destroying the whole base. This is silly. This is this should not be a thing. Only in Nexus Coop do you see a random hero who's not even the main hero demolish face like this. Here comes the next shuttle. Of course, Karax already has his camped. So it won't even do anything. And that's full clear. That's fully clear. By the way, uh, the mind control of Karax, the reclamation, is on autocast. And it will also work on biological units. So it's actually even better than the campaign Karax. Because you can mind control dude lords, ultralisks, even Zergus if you really want to. Just saying, you can. It's not the best, but you can. So Alarak, of course, has that destruction wave. Vorzu with Shadow Fury. Rohana with Storm, but it's an activated ability, and I'm not actually using it right now. Because the real fight is going to be here in Karak's side. So he just drops, you know, 8 cannons. No big deal. Just 8, just eight cannons casually. Alright, here's the wave. Just casually drop 2 more cannons. So now Amon has to fight 10 cannons. And delete these hybrids like they're not a thing. Because Karax is such a chad. Artanis and Alarak are working on that last shuttle. And it's down. Karax is going to solo this whole ship. The next wave, by the way, is the triple ship. So there's one here, one here, one here. One prong, that is, not one ship. So yeah, all my, all my other heroes and units are going to camp this spot. Karax is going to solo this one because of course he can. He's a Chad. I haven't even used these other top bars yet. This first top bar, 
I will not use this whole top bar the first game. This one will spawn units that produce automatically out of the gateway. It's a pretty good it's a pretty good feature. The second one is basically a teleport. It's an, it's an airlift. A Griffin airlift or a medevac pickup. So you first click the area you want to, to recall and then you recall to the spot you want to go to. I'm taking this base because I can. I converge in the center. Steal that oracle because I can. Or rather because it's an auto cast I might as well. Delete this last shuttle. And then run over to the next to this next spot where the enemy will spawn. Because uh Oh yeah, because Cax is so strong, I'll just let the rest of the heroes just chill out in this spot over here. They don't have they don't really have to do anything. Cax will take care of the whole fight. I actually just chilled out all my heroes here. So that Karak can fight the whole wave because he is that good. Look at that. On his own, he takes care of a really powerful wave. Of course, he steals a few from Avon. Three Archons. Four Archons, actually. Now belong to me. Now belong to me. Meanwhile, the rest of the heroes are going to run over here to this spot. They're going to fight all together. And Cax, of course, is just going to camp this one spot on his own. Because he's Karax. He's a Giga Chad. I once again have an Orbital Strike. I also have the Avenger available. But I don't even need it. Honestly, I don't even need it. Now we're just waiting on the next wave. Full clear, Fully cleared, by the way. Okay. Amon thinks... Amon thinks this side is weaker because there's one hero. But he doesn't realize that this hero just happens to be Karax. So he actually picked the worst side for him, and the better side for me, because Karax. Look at this. S casually steals two Colossus from Amon. Three, make that three Colossus stolen from Amon. Because he's a Giga Chad. And just clowns on the rest of this sh shuttle wave like it's nothing. One more shuttle. If I wanted to, of course, I can summon units here to make my life even easier. And I will show off the units in the second game. No worry, he cracks or Artanis does have units, but I'm just showcasing how this one hero is so powerful. It's not a thing. Of course, uh Karax will steal these Colossus. And kite the rest. They're they're trying to Amos trying to be smart. He's he's trying to Target fire Karax, but of course Karax can just kite while stealing more and more of Amos dudes. So I, I now have stolen uh, yeah, two Colossus and two Archons from Amon. And now them, the Observer apparently, and these Canis were fighting the hybrid. And yeah, it's, uh, it's not a thing. Last bonus is done. I camped this spot with the rest of my heroes <laughs> all the rest of the heroes you fight here giga chad karax you fight alone because it is incredible what karax can do last wave time by the way just just delete this whole thing spam these cannons steal amos forces And make his, uh, yeah, make him absolutely not a thing. Just drop more cannons. You just, <laughs> just drop more cannons. Oh, they're trying to focus on Karax. Look, they're trying to be smart to focus on Karax. That's not gonna happen. This Karax can kite. Also, because they dropped that Elder Strike right there. All right. Here, I dropped the Avenger guy here. Oh no, I lost Karax. What, what am I going to do? I lost Karax. Oh, there's a feature here where you can just buy the hero again. Yeah, you can just buy the hero again by clicking the warp beacon and then selecting the hero and then summon, su summoning him anywhere on the map. He's just back. <laughs> he just made this whole thing not a thing. Chase these last shuttles. 
with Karax. Just drop cannons. Teleport the rest of the guys there. I use a teleport, by the way, this top bar right here. Teleport these guys over here. And done. A well-deserved well victory by Commander Karax. Let's move on to game two. Game two will be on Malwarfare, where the objective is to uh, escort Orana's transport, prevent it from dying as it purifies terminals. So once again, I start with workers. This time, I also start with a pylon. Then gasses. As soon as possible. There we go. And then the other one. Come on. There it is. Now I start a worker. Artanis once again making for free. That is very nice. I got a I got a I got a hero to start with. Pretty good deal. But of course, uh, the the hero comes out next. Because Karax is awesome. Send these guys here. The real hero. Transport is still doing that thing. Whereas where she is purifying this terminal. Not sure why I'm saying she for the transport. It's a transport. They don't reproduce, so gender doesn't apply to it. Oh well, I'm not I'm not touching that kind of worms. <laughs> uh, I send a probe down here to start the forge, because again I want upgrades for Karax and the other heroes. Meanwhile, I send this probe here to try and take my expansion using Orbital Strike. You'd think that this is easier, but uh, they kind of follow me around while I don't have energy yet. And some of these Orbital Strikes miss. Of course, they still do damage, but not all the not all the Zalot, so I'll have to send the second one to try and finish it off. So there are still a couple of Zalots here, but I can do stuff to kind of still get my Nexus off in time anyway. I aggro these two Zalots. We fight against the darkness. And then... Drop the pylon right here. So while they're trying to aggro to that nexus, I try to draw aggro using the probe. I tell the probe to manual attack them. To get them to de-aggro from the nexus. And their Tannis is already here. Bought enough time. That was all I did. I bought enough time for Tannis. And once minute 4 hits, that's when I start buying Karax. Use lightning dash. On these clowns. Enemy forces incoming. Slay them to the last. All right. Five seconds before I can start buying Karax. There it is, right away, on the dot. Start a second pylon. Stun these clowns. Oh, actually, Artana stole the lot. Stun with me. That was a very stunning move. Karak should be out soon? Oh wait, I'm supply blocked. Yeah, the uh, the heroes cost a lot of supply. So... I sh That was a mistake. The supply block was a mistake. But anyway, it is no longer a problem for now. Because I have built a nexus and I pile on. Clear out these things. I might, I might remind you guys that this is my like fourth ever game. As Artanis, and he's already cleaning house. Look at this. Look at this other guy. Try to clean these things. Whereas the hero, Karax, makes his way over. And just casually make that not a thing. Okay, there's gonna be an attack wave here, which is gonna line up, I think. Oh, it doesn't. But that does give Artanis another chance to try and steal the spotlight away from Karax. But not for long, because he steals the Immortals. And then here comes the Avenger dude. Look at that, he just dest destroyed that whole base. Made that not a thing. He's gonna march toward this next area. He's, he's basically a giant Zalot that does splash damage. Look, one, one strike, 
hits these four stalkers. He just two shots four stalkers. Delete those things. Of course, I steal a Colossus as Carax. By the way, Phoenix is already here. By the way, you can see I, I now have the option to uh, use the first top bar because I've I've created a gateway. So what the gateway does is it automatically produces these guys in the uh, well in the command card. So the Zelots will be available once Artanis is produced, the Instigators are available once Phoenix is produced, and the uh, Energizers are available once Carax is produced. Of course, uh, the, the Vanguards will be available once I produce Alarach. By the way, the Avenger dude is still cleaning this whole area right here. Just delete that hybrid. The Dark Templar will be available once Vorazun is purchased, and the High Templar will be available once Rohana is purchased. So you can see, yeah, I, I kind of used that over there, but okay. I steal those, and I teleport over here using this ability. Drop cannons. So yeah, I the, the second top bar allows me to teleport Carax to this area. Carax are my whole army. Okay, Alarax here. Ready to tear his foes apart with his own hands. I'm not sure why <laughs> it keeps saying that. It's kind of funny. Okay. So now you can see I'm getting double upgrades on the, uh, well this one is, is for Carax, I'm getting upgrades for Carax, and then this other one for the Spear of Dune, and of course the, as you can see, the next Cybernetics Core is where you get the upgrades for your attack and your shields and your armor. So Carax and Alarach casually attack in this area. Oh by the way, this is the, uh, the swirly, the, the black hole thing. So the black hole summons the units that you produce out of the gateway so you can see this is a lot this energizer this vanguard are produced from uh, and this and, and this instigator are produced from that uh, tornado thing the tornado costs uh energy i think and money so you have to uh save up both okay steal a bunch of these things our talents and cash just casually deleting this deleting this whole thing I run my army over to the bonus. Meanwhile, Carax just casually waltzes in over here. No, he struts. He struts in over here. He knows. He, he knows he can strut. He can pull up a strut. But he's such a Chad. Look at this guy. Look at him power walk. Yeah. Okay, Vorazun. You can see has been purchased. I delete this wave, and the rest of my army. Phoenix, Artanis, Alarach, and Vorzun are gonna clean this wave. Yeah, delete those things. Meanwhile, Karak steals another scout. Now I have three. And I move up move up here. I purchase the last upgrade. While Karak is deleting this thing can see that there's an attack wave marked here. Okay, I teleport. I teleport them over here. Yeah, I teleport my army over here. And I smash the suppression tower. For those who are not aware of how this map works, these suppression towers will delay the transport the transport from Kingsbury. You can see it's paused because the suppression tower is delaying it. So you want to destroy these, these suppression towers to allow the transport to complete its work. You can see the timer's ticking again because the, the tower's down. Carax is, again, strutting, strutting his way down here. He knows nothing can stop him. The rest of the army is just sitting here waiting for the enemy to come to them. Meanwhile, Carax calls down the Avenger dude, drops a few cannons, and steals a Colossus. Meanwhile, the rest of these guys just clear out that wave. Steal the Archon. Just break these force fields, these pathetic little force fields. Meanwhile, the Stolen Scout's still doing work here. Intercepting these guys. Getting more done, getting more work done with this Revenger, gu Revenger guy. By the way, just yeah, I'm just getting more of these Nexus because I think it'll help you produce more. 
can see I you once again use the vortex, which will yeah produce these guys. I'm not sure how I'm, not, I'm still not sure how it works to be honest. Again, I've only played four games of Artanis, aka Carax. So I'm not I don't know if the extra gateways actually help. I just think it's I just think it's something that, that should help. Storms, by the way, are courtesy of Orohana. They do they damage buildings, I think. I've seen them. Yeah, they do damage buildings. I think. <laughs> I could be wrong. I use the vortex again. You can see it's summoning these units to clean house. Yeah, I do think that the extra gateways help because they produce more units. Again, I could be wrong. But it seems like a sensible thing that, that, that'll happen. Okay. My, the, my, whole, my whole army pushes down south. Whereas Chad Carax just summons in four cannons and steals Amon stuff. There, we, there it is. You're just casually stealing Amon stuff. I summon two black hole guys here to take out this wave. You can see they just automatically produce out of there. Pretty good. Meanwhile, Carax is still cleaning here. My entire army is making its way to protect the transport. Meanwhile, Carax is on offense. Oh, I use another, uh, use another vortex thing here. You can see more armies streaming out of it. And I also dropped Orbital Strike to delete this last base. It's pretty good. You can see how fast they delete this suppression tower so that Ruhana can resume her work. Storms courtesy of uh, Rohana deal pretty good damage. I have to elaborate what Rohana does because she's not a campaign, uh, or, or at least she's not a controllable unit in the campaign. He, he, for those for those of you who play the campaign, you already know what the heroes do. Alrak that has deadly charge and the destruction wave. Phoenix has the uh, the spinny thing, the shield thing, and the charge thing. Carax, you already, you've already seen it, has cannons, reclamation, oh, and apparently has shield. This shield overcharge is another ability they added, they added for Carax, and just, that just really makes him stupidly OP. Like, as if he weren't strong enough, they gave the, they gave the recharge to, they gave the recharge to him. And, uh, Vorzun has blink and shadow fear. Oh, she also has stasis. That's pretty cool. All right. So the character to defend this wave. Casually steal the things. They can fight each other. Okay. I dropped Orbital Strike on here. To make this whole thing not a thing. While the rest of the force deletes this. Suppression Tower. There's a wave spawning over there. But Carax will just make that not a thing. Spam these cannons and steal their forces. Yeah, good, jo good job, Alrak. He, he just threw his threw the enemy straight into Carax's cannons. That actually helped. And now we fully cleared the map. All I have to do is camp the next spot, and we're home free. Ooh, observer, observant. All right. Look at that healing. My goodness, look at that healing. Look at this. I don't know what this buff actually is, but I think it's healing because it, it happens when you're close to Carax. Yeah, they're healing a lot. Work faster, or, or work faster, uh, Orana. We're all just waiting here for you. All right, it's finally moving to the last area here. And that's when the second bonus will activate. We activate by buying something out of it and enemies will spawn to try and take out the bonus, but we'll make it not a thing. Just send my powerful army over here. Yeah, just delete that thing. Use Storm from Rohana. Of course, Alarax has, has to ruin that. 
with this distraction wave, but it's still good. It's all good. Buy the second upgrade. And I think that is all yeah, that is all purchased, so I just buy the third upgrade and we're, the bonus is done. Getting more upgrade, I think uh, yeah, I, I produce uh, two Nexus Cybernex cores and four uh, four forges. So I can buy everything. Alright. I split off my heroes because the last transport has two possible suppression tower patterns. Either the first one spawns here or the first one spawns here. We'll see uh, where it spawns and that will help us determine where the rest will spawn. Okay, uh, that's that's the first tower. That means that the second tower will spawn here. So I'm sending Karax right there. The rest of the heroes just recamp the spot. Oh, I saw a glimmer of enemy spawning here. So I just send my army right there. Let Phoenix clean up those zealots and Rohana storm down those void race. Karax already has this one camped. And I drop Orbital Strike to clean out the enemies. While my eight cannons work on the suppression tower. Last one is a double set. First, first of the last will spawn here, and the second of the last will spawn here. So I'm setting Karax right there. I use the tornado thing, the vortex thing, to create this army out of thin air. All right, I dropped a Revenger guy on here. Just cleans this whole area. Of course, Karax already clean his because he has an army. My goodness, it's so OP. This commander is so OP, and by this oh, look at this huge army, my goodness. I do think that the extra gateways help. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> That's a pathetic wave, Amon. I have more copies than you have regular units. Look at this. Look at this. That's insanity. This commander is insanity. And, I, and by this commander, I mean Karax, the Giga Chad. He's so good. My goodness. I do recommend that you play this commander uh, and try to solo the map because it's, it's it's actually all reasonable. Just send Karak on offense and everyone else, everyone else does defense. It's it's gonna hold. It's gonna hold. Man, Karax, so good. Spamming cannons, stealing Amos dudes like it ain't no thing. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else you do, please leave it in the comment. I'll see you guys next time.